Hello and welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. We are a hero now, officially. So, uh, lots of hero stuff to do. And we might have sub -story. Hey, mister! It was my birthday yesterday! Huh. You don't say. Suppose I should give you some sort of present. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I guess I made it sound like I was asking for one. Nonsense. You're only gonna turn this age once. Why not let me celebrate? But aren't you broke, mister? Uh. It's the thought well, that counts. You got me there. But still... Mm. Mister, isn't it hard enough just trying to survive out here? It's nice of you to think of me, though. Thanks. Sure. You're a good kid, Shotakun. Oh, I'm gonna be late for cram school. I gotta go. See you later, mister. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Aww. It has Shota written on it. Is this that kid's? Might be hard to track him down. Probably better off handing it over to the old man. Yeah, let's do that. Oh? Huh? Who are you? Yeah. I'm Kasuga. Pretty sure this handkerchief belongs to that kid you were talking to earlier. My name's Janai. Yeah, I'll be sure to give it to him next time he comes around. Hidakun's a good kid. Some around the river fairly often, so I tried talking to him, and to my surprise, he was willing to stick around. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Before long, Shudakun uh, would start telling me what happened at school, and I tell him stories about the good old days. Wow. But right. That's why you wanted to get him a present? Long shot of it. Anyway, <sighs> to tell the truth, I have a son about Shotokun's age. Whenever I look at him, I can't help but see my son. I wasn't able to do anything remotely parent-like at the time for my boy, and it's not exa it's exactly atonement, but I figure I could try and so do something for Shota. Right. It's not a bad thing, or do something like that. Just go overboard if you do, yeah? <sighs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, let's continue this path. Stop by at the pawn shop. Where... See how uh, that guy is doing. Probably have a little fight here. Oh. Okay. I definitely transform. Cool. There you go. Let's go. Oh, so. Ooh, one thing I wanted to check is now that we have a bat, we do have this one. Oh, and it's much better. That's the one that we got in the uh, chest. Man, my back is killing me. So. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Let's just see what we can buy in the first place. Sleeping gas ball. Okay. Friday Night City. CD of... Uh, CD single Friday Night. A song that was popular in the disco scene because you never feel alone when it plays. Does that mean Queen of Passion? Does that mean if I buy that, that that will be available karaoke? We have some gear. Oh, and we can uh, directly sign it. Put on the safety shoes for him. Oh, that is... 
four. Hmm. Let's get that one since healing goes up. The Nanba. Then we can give the other, the shirt to Dachi. Let's get a helmet as well. We're broke then, but... Ready, Maybe we can actually sell some stuff. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, oh, we have... A bunch of stuff here. Art ball, hand grenade. Two. I don't, I don't, the thing is, I don't know if I... If and what I need to sell stuff. We can... We do use the bindings now. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with this for now. Um... Let's give him the helmet. And the shirt. Just a little bit of protection. Alright. Broke again, but we got some good equipment. Back at Hello Work. <clears throat> I'll go for you guys. <gasps> I'm fucked. Another day of no work. Same here. Damn it. Oh. I'm down, buddy. Not so might have taken the cake, but a, a lot of these people are pretty rough around okay. the edges. What do you expect? Funny work isn't easy these days. Well, don't let it get to you. It's gotta be patient. Wait, isn't that a dachi? Oh. You're right, it's a dachi. Fan of yours? <sighs> no. I'd say I remember them. <laughs> like how you don't. You ruined our lives. Did I? I think I arrested you at some point or another. I'm allowed to forget the Yokohama Pink Panthers. Jinsho's top burglary ring. What? Oh yeah, that takes me back, man. How long has it been since I busted you guys? 20 years? We have criminal ruggets now, asshole. Now we can't even work. I take some responsibility for that. Hold on! Hey, it's not a Dutchie's fault you guys got busted. You a cop, bro? Nah, just here to find some work. Hey. Come on, let's leave these guys to stew and get out of here. Hold on, Nadachi. Why are you looking for work? I lost my job at the station, obviously. You quit? That means you can't arrest us anymore, right? No matter how many times we hit you. Okay, if you want to try to start something. Did that band on revenge? Why not put up that kind of effort into job hunting? Shut the hell up. We'll beat the shit out of you, all three of you. We'll see about that. They're transforming. Auto battle mode can now be selected. Press LT to turn auto battle mode on and off. No. Yeah. I'll just. Oh, they're pretty strong actually. I'll go check that out beforehand. What's he doing? What? What? He stole from me. That mother trucker. Yeah. Let's attack this guy. Good of it. Take your best shot. Hold on. Cool. Cool. Uh, Check this out. Ooh. That was a nice hit. Let's go. Ouch. Uh, let's do it back down. It's mad now. Actually, let's use the healing powder. Because I kind of want to see how much it heals. Okay, quite a bit. 
do it. Do I get my Onigiri back? I do. Moving up in the world. Okay. Nice. Heavy beatdown. Damn you. Got you back for this. Don't you forget us this time. How about taking it personally? You asked so many people you don't even remember what they look like, Hitachi san? All in ancient history now. I didn't have to deal with shit like that. Follow a war batch. I wonder if that's gonna be the new norm. <sighs> For real? I don't wanna be anywhere near you then. <laughs> ah, let him come. Take as many as they can throw at me. Well, hello work awaits. Alright. Go in. Hmm? 500 yen. Doubled our money. Next, number 68. Yes. Yep. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. 22 years old. I'm strong. I've got a home. And a new job. Have a guy out. All right, turn it down. Only for theatrics. Oh, aren't you the janitor? No. Oh, aren't you that homeless guy I sent over to the bar for a gig? You've got a roof over your head now, huh? Thanks. Well, thanks uh, to that job you helped us get. Glad to hear it. Why are you on that side now? What do you mean? It's my job. Who's like the man? Yeah, director. The director of this place? Director. You can find some work for us? Mm -hmm. Oh, you made some friends? Yeah, my party's got three people in it now. <laughs> Arty, huh? Uh huh. You play games, Kasuga kun? Yeah, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest. That's a good one. Played myself. Anyway. Let's see what jobs we have for the hero and his retinue here. Grab your deck, good sir. That said, I just wanted to warn you. I made an exception last time. I was trying to see if a couple of homeless guys could stand on their own feet. But now that we're doing this legitimately, I have to follow the rules. Hmm? What rules? The golden rule. I can only assign you jobs that you're qualified for. Even Dragon Quest, some jobs are locked until the character reaches a certain level of skill, right? Think of it like that. I have just a big RPG when you get down to it. Sure, so what would our current experience level let us mm. change into? An XCOM, a bomb, and a fire cop? Yeah. It's the best I can do for you right now. What is it? It's Special bathhouse? Oh. So, a soap lab. Hey. Hold on. Maybe that's the best you can get these two, but I've got years of service to lean on. Point to your documentation, you've never been married. Uh, what's that got to do with anything? Tell me you've gone this long as a lonely single man without resorting to paying for it. This seems right up your alley. Huh? How dare you? I mean, it's not even that illegal. Anyway. What you boys need is to buy, to build up some work history. And don't think this bathhouse gig is going to be a walk in the park. The owner there is a little eccentric, and it's only up to him if he takes you on board. Good luck. Hey. I mean, we grew up in a soap land, so... Might have some experience and insight. So the director actually seems to be a good guy. He actually helping us out quite a bit. We have to go. Okay, it's all the way over there. Uh, we can do this. Is, I think this means that it's a continuation of a sub story. 
Uh, so maybe uh, with what was the kid's name? Shota, Shota Kun. Um, so we can stop by there and then go over there. Sturdy lumber. What's that on the ground? Cheap plastic. Hmm? Paper plate. Hmm? A hundred yen. Okay. Oops. Hmm? Come on, me, lady. Oh yeah, it's that guy. That's the old guy who's friends uh, with the Choda kid. Was he saying he was going to get a present for hey. him? Yo, you found a present for the kid? Cool. Oh, hey there. About that. Any idea what kids like these days? Well, as I might, I could. Just couldn't think of anything Choda Kun would like. I figured maybe you know more about that. You ever ask him about what he likes and stuff? I do see him reading books a lot, but he's kind of reserved on that front. This doesn't exactly tell me those sort of things. Sure. <sighs> hmm. What to do? Anything come to mind, Kasuga san? This gaming console? Handmade goods? Me? <laughs> what? Um. I don't know. I think he seems like a good kid. I think. He would be happy about anything. So let's say handmade make goods. What if you build the kid a bookshop? Yeah, that's a great idea. He reads a lot, so that could be cool, right? You think a kid of uh, today want a bookshop? No. I think what's more important is that he put it together. Yeah. Put thought into it. Hmm. Well, that's fair. So, the bookshop shouldn't be too hard to make. All right, let's go with that. Kindness up. Oh, bookshop it is. Well, good luck with that. Oh, no. Well, Kazuka-san, I know it's a bit selfish of me to ask, but you think you can help me out with building that bookshelf, even just gathering the materials? I haven't done something like this sure before. Thing. All right, sure. I'm the one who suggested it. Might as well have a... Arigato, na. Oh, man. Thank you, Kazuka-san. Get the tools if I can uh, leave the wood and nails to you, yeah. Kazuka-san. Yeah, you got it. Meet you back over... Where we first met once I'm done. Sounds good. Oh, the Sakura River Street. I'm coming on you, Kazuka san. Perfect. I think building a bookshelf is a great idea. Alright, wood and nails. Where would I find those? Uh, maybe we can get it at a pawn shop. Might have some. What is that? DNA? The end of the new PNA. Well, that's gambling. We'll check out all these things at some point as well. We're not in a rush. But I do want to do some karaoke as soon as I can. So, once we run over the, uh, across that, we'll do it. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. okay. Who's that, Ch Sujimon? Jeez, the hell's up with this guy? <sighs> Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. Okay, let's move the fire in. Hanging on. Suspicious man. Oh, oh! What hit us? Dance with glee. Okay. I don't even know what's going on. Resist it. 
Ooh, that was a good laugh. No! Best code wide open. Oh no. Oh, silence. Okay. No messing around. The mega swing. Oh, I was too late on that one. Oh, we can't use any of our MP moves? That is what silence does. Mysterious Stone and Odd Stone. Man, what was his problem? I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. What kind of bomb now, bill let's is see that? What data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. Sure. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. I'm not sure if we can trust this guy. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? Right. You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. So. This place I call the Sujimon Center, it's a fully functional research lab. You mean your fully random office room? <laughs> anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. Uh huh. Okay, sure, it's Ow. a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. Of course, yeah. World totally peace? makes sense. Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around, and how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there, how can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here yeah, is that I'm face. contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. 
Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> He's basically like wanting to do limit here. like a Pokedex, if right? If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. You know this Kiryu guy? Well, hope you find your guy. <laughs> Let's roll, Namba. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, hear me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. No, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Yeah, a Pokedex. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes? Yeah, so, kind of constantly. Thinking, constantly. Why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? A stewardage bun. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, I'll do it. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all the like work. Like a Pokedex. <laughs> As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey, time to earn your keep. Oh, we just have goons. Who are these goons? Let's just <laughs> say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Okay, this is definitely uh, a Pokemon sure reference, right? This, but... If we have a starter Pokemon, let's choose Charizard. Let's go with red. Okay, then. Red it is. All right. You two, give Red here some this backup. Is, this is great. <laughs> Got these now, games. They're give so them weird. a taste of what I pay you for. <laughs> huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! <laughs> Get ready for a Sujimon battle! Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey! Not a loser! Yeah. Oh, man. I, I don't, I don't uh -huh. even know what to say. This is great. Cool. Ouch. Uh, let's do the chart. You're in it now. Take your best shot. Oh no. A Kaioki. I bet there's like a joke in there as well. Get alive. Still not down. Okay. Let's get rid of him. Oh, he healed? Not the trucker. Let's go. Didn't do much damage. Yeah, take your best shot. Have fun with this. I probably should do some fire on all the saw. Get serious. Come up. There you go. Okay. Get alive. Have fun with this. It was very effective. Yeah. Oh. Take this light shot. Let's go. Got him. 
69, nice. Big Claws, Rough Lumber. Suji deck, green Suji Mon, Suji deck, blue Suji Mon. I feel the stats going up! <laughs> Fearless Command. Check that out. <sighs> Impressive! Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. That's <laughs> the kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? Rarity 1. Weakness Water. Oh, the piss wizard. Oh, go me. Pretty good. Oh, man. I don't even. That's oh, the man. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat lots of Sujiman, collect lots of data, and as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you gotta dispatch them all! Then you'll be the next Sujimon master! And these games. <laughs> just the best. They're just the best. I mean, it's just odd. How can you argue with that? Oh, okay, time for some Soapland. Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Ew. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, who'll notice? Gross. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Peace. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your was one way too, to put it. But come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. Yep. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Exactly. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichi? Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. 
You heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. <sighs> hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. <laughs> I don't think Kasuga yeah, was taking that like pretty that. personal. That's I'll call them. Up at her uh, I will. Uh, uh, the uh, ladies that work there. I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand. And I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places. And I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? Uh... Prostitution's gotta go! Oh, no, no not these guys TV again. Show! What's that sound? A bit of pest called Bleach Japan. I can't believe they're already back. Same guys as the other day. I've been demonstrating in front of my shop for a few days in a row now. A clockwork. A pain in the yeah. ass. I'm specifically targeting you with these protests. Wow. I'm the last place in the area that's open uh, about being a bathhouse. The others have all rebranded as Mansalon or bubble massages. It makes it harder for Bleach Japan to build a case against them. They come after us since we're still open about being a soap lad. I think if they can close me down, I'll start a shockwave and clean out the rest of the area. Am I lucky or what? Listen. The Yakuza won't protect you? I tried complaining to the Serio clan once. They had some lame excuse and they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, Bleed Japan's ranks are filled with uh, the types who read up on anti-Yakuza laws for the fun of it. Those kind of people are tough for even the Yakuza you deal with. That's the Yakuza for you. If I can't go to the Yakuza and I can't go to the police, who do I turn to? Well, damn. Even my employees are quitting to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope over here. Right. That's why you're understaffed. Basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business. That said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around either. <laughs> Ah, you don't get it at all. Those who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. The girls who work here are all Japanese, but in the same situation as an immigrant who came here to get away from whatever it might may be. Losing a job like this may as well be deportation. They've got no one to go back to or rely on. Okay. I always figured it was the money that brought girls to this kind yep. of work. Of course, a lot of people who come here get tempted to the side of things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll uh, strike it rich without doing any real work. As soon as things take a turn for the worse, they run for the hills. That's why I only hire women so far. Out on the ledge, they can't afford to take another step back. Oh man. Women like that work like uh, their lives depend on it, and that's what keeps my business stable. Hey. Save on my ass. I'm just take advantage of women at the lowest. You're the scum of the earth. Say what you will. But Thus weighs on the soul just as heavy as hunger, if not more so. Except with lust, you can't just satiate it at your local deli. You have to hold it until you find an outlet. As long as women are willing to be on the menu, men are going to place orders. That's the world we live in. Hopefully we can take over this place. Kind of like the, the, the clubs in the previous games. Whatever, if we drive that guy off, will you hire us Yo. That's a bad. But everything the slammer just said, you still want to work here? Then we don't. That's nothing like Hammer. The world would be better off if we let Bleach Japan take him down. Hello. Oh, it's work. I can't afford to turn that down. I think he wants to make this a better place. I think that's what Ichiban is on about. Take a shot, and I'll get it done right. You can hire us or not. Fine.
I think that's what he really wants. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet this is Sabotrend is flaunting it in broad daylight. Hey. Working hard as ever, huh? What? You guys? For the other day? Why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're employees. Employees, huh? My friends, the accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution, have made themselves known. Mm -hmm. Sorry, criminals. If that was the case, why aren't we, we get arrested? The siblings are dodging the laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone, the dark stains on Japan. Let's turn this gray to white. We must bleach it out. Yo! What about you? Think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Never committed a single crime? True. Of course, I obey the law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. You've never liked taking a whiz outside. That's technically a crime, you no. know? No. Never once. Not in my life. <sighs> Seriously. What about speeding? Everyone's gone over the speed limit because they were running late. Nope, not a single time. Hey. You liar. You need to go even one kph over the limit you have to do have done that afraid not you doubt me and prove it prove i've committed these crimes yo we gotta find some dirt on them okay how about you what you're doing right now all these people blocking the road has got to do got to be some kind of crime doesn't it <laughs> ha you're so ignorant it's funny of course he has a permit a permits from the kanagawa police for this demonstration Ah, uh, permit uh, to march on a public road. <laughs> you get it now? The police have been magnanimous enough to let us use this road for our course, but, but where you're standing now isn't technically the road. That's the soap land. Ha! Got him. Let's go a little overzealous. Also, it says here that there's only supposed to be ten of you. Hey. I'm not a mathematician, but this looks like more than that. Just got more support than usual today. That's the nature of a process. A number of people can fluctuate up until the day off. If you don't like it, follow police report. I wouldn't get your hopes up about coming of them coming out to do a head count. The difference between ten or fifty people isn't worth their time, and it's certainly not causing any trouble. <laughs> huh. On the right track, Kas Kasuga. In that case, I've got a warning for you. The legal definition of a marsh means you are not allowed to stop moving. You stop and start giving speeches that's uh, obstructing traffic. The right to use this road was predicated on you performing a march. So the fact that you're stopping here is pretty clear violation. <laughs> Even if that's technically true. Every post stops to give speeches. The police are fine with that. Sup? You know what you call that? A gray zone. Lying on a gray uh, area to uh, criticize the gray zone, man, that's the irony. My friends, let's keep going. We're marching. Got him. Oh, man, these guys. What are you going when you trip? Let's see. First, we have each one Casca, age 42. Oh! And this is, oh, isn't this the one hammock runs? Yes. Yeah. We're living on the second floor. You know hammock's son? A bit, from years ago. Anyway, next is you number. Age 41. Huh? Huh? You number? I mean, number was your real name this whole time? Of that whole speech you gave me about homeless people using fake names? Uh. Shut up. I believe it was fake, but that's what important. Just got a What was that? A what? Okay, okay, okay. Last guy, Kuichi Adachi. Who's wait? 59? Yes. Yes. I have two months to go until I hit retirement. The Karagawa police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. What? Huh? That's all? That's all? No. I mean, we're walking through your red flags, aren't we? Bum, an ex Yakuza, and a cop with a dishonorable discharge. I love it. If I was worried about stuff like that, I'd never find anyone to work for me. And besides, I just happen to have the perfect job for you three. What? That is. Hope you're not gonna make us clean the bath to kick things off. Nah, I only get that done every six months. Oh. What I'm really after is her. Oh, shit. 
Name is Nanoa. She's been my top earner for five years straight. It's the girl who called to take the day off and you blew it up at her, right? Yep, yep that's right. Mm. She's your top earner, huh? Yeah, you weren't kidding about these girls being on the... Never mind. I told you, if you all... Uh, if all you've got going for you is beside cute and young, you'll never last. The core of a soap band's appeal is service and love. It's emotional depth that makes a repeat customer. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. As I could see that. There are lonely creatures when it comes down to it. Even guys, even guys who put up the toughest fronts need a place to be who they really are. And the death of a woman's ability to give him that is usually proportional to her own baggage. And Noah's father is of an age where he can't even move on his own anymore. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into this world to afford him the best care. Wow. Doing all the stuff between a white collar job and prostitution is a pretty brave yep. leap. That's why she's so good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter what who the customer is. All for the sake of her father. But that being said, he's recently started finding reasons to take days off. Mm. That used to be the case, though. Between Bleach Japan and Anoa taking days off, sales are really uh, slumping. That's why I need a hand. What? And like on the customer, oh, this. Nah. <laughs> and he goes into fighting steps. <laughs> oh, you idiot! What are you looking? Why she's taking time off? Did she herself uh, say herself it was because of uh, an irregular period? And take that at face value, knowing her. There are a lot of reasons why someone would need uh, who needs money starts taking a lot of days time off. Think she's got a side piece? Mm-hmm. You don't know the industry, don't you? Got to fill in the class? Yeah. I mean, she could be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, a customer pays for the service and that money gets divided between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount, but still come up on top by cutting the shop up. Once they start doing that, the girls start to wonder why they need to the shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing, even if it's just an innocent Thing at first, once they get a taste for that extra cash, it doesn't stop. But even start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. It's the death now for some shops. So I want you to find out if she's seeing someone on the side. Sup? Yep. There she is. What do we do if we find the guy? I'm sure he never wants to go near Nanoa again, and I don't care what methods you use. You're a Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you three can come up with something creative. Hold on. Hey, hold up. Don't you be using the serial clown for this kind of thing? Think of them like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they increase the, your premiums. It's cheaper if you can solve uh, problems yourself. <laughs> huh, that's a boss for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay. Can you tell us where Nanoa san lives for starters? Actually, it seems she's been couch surfing for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some hey. time. How the heck do we find her then? To keep an eye on the pocket cafe, she'll show up. Things out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay for hours to use the free Wi Fi and charge her phone. See you later. So I'll hope for the best. Get her to start coming back in regularly, and I'll have a suitable payment for you. Okay. Doesn't be like he hired us as cheap detectives. Mm. Well, Mia's quite a schemer. He seems sloppy, but he knows his employees both on and off the clock. He's doing it on purpose. He's good. <sighs> Doesn't mean he's not a scumbag. His bottom line is all he cares no. about. I don't think so, actually. Huh? Maybe it's not true at, uh, all the time, but yeah, most Soplan's profits uh, off the workers' misfortunes. You mean like the debt and their all the family issues? They prey on people like that, right? Basically. Uh, the women work hard to get out of the situation and the sh shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way Nanomiya talks about people. But he's not sugarcoating anything either. He understands the reality of the business. Mm. Well, that's one way of putting it. They grew up surrounded by every kind of sleaze bag uh, Amaruja could throw in those doors. And I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for his girls. Take him any day over some shithead who doesn't care why the girls get jobs here in the first place. Well, just because I hate shitheads doesn't mean I have to like sleaze bags. So let's find this proof and get okay. back. Okay. All right. 
But we still don't know for sure if she's actually seeing a guy on the side. Start with the cafe he supposedly goes to. Alright, where is that? Up there. We have a sub story pretty close there. Gotta be careful that I don't get run over again. What's going on here? Oh. Okay, oh. You're weak. Come on now. Level 50? This is bad news. They are strong. Let's go. I got this. Let's go. These, they are strong. It's attack rows. I don't like that either. Okay, we need to. Do something here. Come on, let's go. No, oh, I have a tickle in my throat. You're done now. Gotta get rid of this guy before I can attack again. Um. Okay, let's do the pyro belch. Jeez, he's still alive. Oh, yeah. I'm up. Let's use slick time. So much damage. Okay. Uh, healing powder. Watch this. Little first aid. You're in it now. Cool. Jesus. Okay. I. Let's get rid of this guy since he's has the attack bonus. Go. Um, and now let's do let's on guard. Let's go. As I activate the thing. Oh no, he's cool. Uh oh. Let's see. Is this one? We got one of those. I'm struggling here. Still not done. Oh, he's also KO. Now this is that. Uh, okay. Let's use an item. Be the hero that you want to be. Check this out. Oh boy. Oh man, indeed. Much better. Let's go. Can't use the mega swing. Come on now. 
Okay, one is gone. Just one left. Uh, okay, I can't use that anymore. Oh no, I should have healed. Oh no. Okay, man, they were like super strong. It works pretty good. It works pretty good. It's delicious. Not bad. Oh, good. Just the French fries. Not bad. Okay. I think we will actually take a short break here before we go into head into this sub story. So, um, yeah, <laughs> lots of things happened. We had Pokemon and all of that, and got our ass beat. So, there is that. I don't like that part. But, we will continue with uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon very soon. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. It all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more contact, contact? content in the future. I'll be back with more Yakuza Like a Dragon very soon. Until then, have a great time.